You can now monitor the latency on each channel in the mix console in Cubase 10. So first I'll just click here to pop my mix console out to its own window. And then I'll click the setup window layout button here, and then I'll select channel latencies. What this does is it pulls up a latency monitor on each channel that displays the total channel latency. Now typically what's causing this latency are the inserts on the channels. So you can show your insert rack here. If you click on the down arrow, what this will do is it'll open up a channel latency overview and it'll show you exactly how much latency each plugin is causing. Now some of these plugins on this channel, you can see there's four of them. Not all four of them are actually causing latency. Only one of them is, and that's Auto-Tune Pro. It's a third party plugin. So this is causing 60.3 milliseconds of latency. If I scroll down here, I've got some drum tracks like this one here. This one has two different plugins causing latency. Drum Leveler is causing 64.9 milliseconds of latency, and the Clarifonic EQ is causing five milliseconds of latency for a total channel latency of 69.8 milliseconds or 3,079 samples. These are both third-party plugins as well. The good news is that Cubase automatically compensates for these channel latencies but it's nice to be able to monitor what channels and what plugins are causing the most latency because those are typically the channels and plugins that are eating up the most amount of CPU processing power. And this is also helpful if you're trying to do some additional recording with a mic or DI because you can identify the plugins causing the most latency, bypass those while recording, and then bring them back in when you're done.